Welcome back to another video of Extreme Stories, and we bring to you another new and awesome video. Today's video is going to revolve around the weather, a normal phenomenon that we cannot control, but it's a crazy one, especially here in the state of Indiana, because it's prone to all types of crazy weather. You really wouldn't want to live here in this crazy state, but it's really crazy with this, with this type of stuff going on. Because in this state, here are the stuff that goes on in their state. There's always there's sun, storms, snow, tornadoes, and even, you know, warm climatic weather. All that stuff. But still, there's even more crazy stuff that goes on along with these five things. When like one one goes out of proportion. And that is exactly what we have to deal with here in Indiana. If you're actually living in the state, then you already know what's going on here. If we don't, then I'm going to tell you. And this is one of the fun topics for me because, as you know, my major is to go into meteorology. Because it's a fun topic. Pretty fun with storms and all crazy stuff going on. Except for snow. But minus that, there are lots of great things that go on with water, especially in the spring. But the first thing, crazy thing that goes on with water is when you really can't see. And there was even one time when this happened. What happened was one day, I think it was last year, when we were driving down the road, we actually ran into a huge thunderstorm just by going, just heading off to the mall. Well, I was not driving the car, but my parents were. But when the rain actually fell, it got so blurry. Like, you couldn't literally see anything. And I think it was even hailing as well, but... Just looking down the road, you couldn't see anything. And even here's a, a actual picture of what it looked like on that day. Pretty scary, isn't it? But that's, that's one of the rude things that come with water. But also, another thing that comes with tornadoes, which is a big thing in our state. And even one year, I think it was 2016, we had four close encounters with tornadoes. Not kidding, four close encounters. And here's an even more scary fact. Two of them actually happened on the same day. Am I kidding? They all happened on the, they both happened on the same day. And they both, you know, nearly missed their time. The first one actually formed. The second one didn't actually happen. And also another close encounter I had with Tornadoes was back six years ago with that horrible bus driver that I told you guys about a couple months ago. Well, apparently, I guess... What she thought of it, thought of crazy weather. She really didn't give a freaking care about them. Not kidding. And, and that one day when we actually had a crazy, you know, trigger warning, we were at the school and apparently we were the last bus there, but she didn't seem to care about the weather. So who knows what would have happened if we didn't leave the school soon enough because there were kids who were scared out of their minds. The trigger was going to come out of nowhere and smash the bus. But luckily, we did leave. But Trino didn't actually form, but if we actually stayed there a little longer, then we probably would have not been there. We probably would have been gone because there's no way you can outrun a tornado. No matter how much you run, there's no outrunning a tornado. Just so that you guys know. That's why you have to take precautions and tornado warnings so you don't get killed. And also, another thing that comes also with thunderstorms is flooding. Lots and lots of flooding. And just like this is past week, we actually had a storm that actually brought us like four inches of rain in one day. Not kidding. And most of it just happened in the fall in the morning. And that causes potholes, which is a really big thing in our town. And I even heard on the news that day that, that a huge pothole formed and split the road in half. Somewhere down, somewhere on the, on the street or somewhere. I don't know which street it was, but all I know is near our area. And it was pretty scary. But still, it was pretty cool that that they actually got footage of it. And now, to move on to one of the things that I don't like about weather. Snow. As you know, I'm a huge snow hater. Especially when it comes to... When it comes into January, February, even March. And sometimes April. Because the snow, you know, the overstates is welcome. Even in April, we still had to, we still had to deal with snow chances. And also, just a couple weeks ago, we actually got a snowstorm and actually brought us a foot of snow. I'm not kidding. A huge foot of snow. 
and there's there was no way you could get out of your house either because without having to shovel your yard which is an unfortunate thing that you have to do but all those centuries of snow oh man that was pretty scary because we didn't even know that was coming they predicted two inches that day but no we got 10. how would that happen but that's the crazy thing that snow does to us but who knows of what you can get with snow because you can never know where you can get with snow even if it comes in april at a huge, huge surprise anyways that's it for today's awesome and amazing video if you enjoyed today's awesome and amazing video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to always get notified of new videos from this awesome and amazing channel and i'll see you in another awesome video next time.